Good day, Grade 10s. The work done by electric current is very important in our everyday lives. It allows us to use many different things, from cars to kettles in our kitchens. Now, let us join Bruce as he shows us how we can use the equation V equals W divided by Q to calculate the work in a circuit. We already know that an electrical circuit is a complete loop of electrical components connected to a source of electrical energy. Now, when a potential difference is applied across two ends on a conductor, then a current is able to flow through that conductor. Resistors in the circuit, like these two light bulbs, make use of the energy carried by the current. The light bulbs offer resistance to the flow of charge. Therefore, work is done in the bulbs as the current passes through it. The work that is done is the amount of electrical energy transferred into heat and light in each of the bulbs. Let us remind ourselves about what potential difference is before we continue. We define potential difference between two points in a circuit as the amount of work done per unit positive charge. We can translate this into an equation. V equals W divided by Q, where W equals the amount of work done in joules. Q is the amount of charge that passes through in coulombs and V is the potential difference in volts. Now, let us rejoin Bruce as he shows us how to put this equation into practice. Let's now do a few calculations using the formula V equals W over Q. Try and do them with me and make sure you understand the steps that I take. 45 joules of energy are transferred to a light bulb when six coulombs of charge passes through it. What is the potential difference across this light bulb? Well, firstly, we write down the values that we are given. First of all, 45 joules of energy are transferred. So work done W is equal to 45 joules. To a light bulb, when 6 coulombs of charge, Q charge is equal to 6 coulombs. What is the potential difference across the light bulb? V is what we're trying to calculate. Now that we've written the information down, we must now write down the formula V equals W over Q and substitute the values into the formula. Right, V is equal to W over Q. W equals 45 joules. Q is equal to 6 coulombs. And calculating that, we get an answer of 7,5 volts. Let's do another calculation, but this time for W, the amount of energy transferred. How much energy is transferred to the element of a kettle when 900 coulombs of charge passes through it? The potential difference across the kettle is 240 volts. Right, let's write down our values again. We are told that 900 coulombs of charge pass through the kettle, so Q is equal to 900 coulombs and that the potential difference across the kettle is 240 volts. So V is equal to 240 volts. How much energy is transferred? We are looking to calculate work. Now what we must do is take our equation and make W, the work done, the subject of the formula. So we write down V equals W over Q. Making W the subject of the formula, W is equal to V times Q. Now we substitute in the values. V is equal to 240 volts multiplied by Q of 900 coulombs. 240 multiplied by 900 gives us an answer of 216,000 joules of work. This time, let's see how we can use the formula to calculate the amount of charge. How much charge passes through a light bulb when 120,000 joules of energy is transferred by a potential difference of 240 volts applied across it? Okay, writing down the information, we can see now that there's 120,000 joules of energy transferred, so W equals 120,000 joules and a potential difference of 240 volts is applied. So V 
is equal to 240 volts. What we're trying to find out now is Q, the amount of charge. So this time, we're taking our formula V equals W over Q and making Q the subject of the formula. So writing down V equals W over Q, making Q the subject of the formula, Q is now equal to W divided by V. Substitute in our values, W is 120,000 joules, V is 240 volts, and we get an answer for Q of 500 coulombs. Now let's try a few more complicated examples. This time we will use the equation Q is equal to I times T as well as our equation V equals W over Q. A current of 5 amperes is maintained in a conductor for 4 minutes. It passes through an electric fan which has a potential difference of 12 volts applied across it. How much energy is transferred to this fan? Okay, looking at our example, let's write down the important information. We can see now that the current is 5 amperes, so I equals 5 amperes. It's maintained in the conductor for 4 minutes, so T is equal to 4 minutes, but remember we must convert to seconds, so we multiply it by 60 equals 240 seconds. We've got a potential difference of 12 volts, so V equals 12 volts. And the question is how much energy is transferred to this fan? So W is what we're trying to look for. Now to calculate the amount of charge, which will allow us then to calculate the amount of energy transferred, we must use our equation Q is equal to I times T. So writing the equation Q is equal to I times T, Let's substitute in the values. I is equal to 5 amperes. Multiply by T, the time, which remember we've calculated as 240 seconds. 5 multiplied by 240 gives us an answer of 1,200 coulombs. Now that we've calculated Q, the amount of charge, it's a simple process to now calculate the amount of energy transferred. So writing down V equals W over Q and making W the subject of the formula, W equals V times Q, substitute in the values, V is equal to 12 volts and Q we've just calculated as 1,200 coulombs. 12 multiplied by 1,200 gives us an answer of 14,400 joules. Now that last problem probably seemed quite difficult, but I hope you followed each step with me. And as we slowly put down each step of the question, I'm sure you will agree that it's actually not that hard. So in this lesson, we have learned how to use the equation V equals W divided by Q to calculate different values. We also learned that sometimes we need to use the equation I equals Q divided by T as well in order to find our answer. Great tens, the questions may seem complicated, but as Bruce pointed out, if we list the information we have and then solve the problem step by step, it is not that difficult. The best is to practice these types of examples. You will find more examples and information on circuits at www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Remember to try some of the questions in the task video too. Goodbye.